Guys, Joanna's dilemma is shared by many patients who have the dream of their baby turning into a nightmare due to brachial plexus injury, a significant concern in childbirth. My name is Joanna, my baby girl was born two months ago, and it was a very challenging delivery process. During childbirth, they pulled her tiny arm forcefully, causing me to realize that her arm wasn't moving at all. She could only move her hand slightly. I am very worried because I saw that the surgery, the sooner the better the outcome. Hey doctor, what should I do? Guys, Joanna's dilemma is the same as many patients who have the dream of having their baby turned into a nightmare by a brachial plexus injury. First of all, I think it's important for us to understand that the obstetrician did not intend to cause this injury. Complication during birth can lead to oxygen deprivation, potentially causing serious brain injury if delivery is not prompt. So let's not discuss that here. The important thing is, should we have early surgery or not? Unlike adults, when a child has a brachial plexus injury, mainly from falling off a motorcycle, the child's injury usually improves and most of the time surgery is not needed. So how do we know if we should operate right away or wait for some time? The first requirement is as follows. If there is movement in the hand, we wait and do not perform surgery. When a child does not have hand movement until 3 months, there is already an indication for nerve reconstruction because it was a serious injury and the hand is difficult to recover when surgery is done very late. If there is no noticeable movement or improvement in the biceps muscle, which is responsible for flexing the elbow, after 6 months, we may opt for surgical intervention. At 9 months, we do a test called the cookie test, which is to take a cookie and hand it to the child so that they, with their elbow stuck to their body, try to bring it to their mouth. If she is unable to eat the cracker, there is also a surgical indication. If your baby, at any of these steps, at any of these moments, cannot have hand movement at 3 months, does not have elbow flexion at 6 months, or does not pass the test of bringing something to the mouth at 9 months, there is a possibility that he may need surgery. Therefore, if you are in doubt or unsure, it is crucial to seek an expert's advice immediately. In this case, yes, the earlier surgery will lead him to have a better outcome. If you want to know more about plexus injuries in babies, like this video and subscribe to our channel.